The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. E Production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, I've got my electric acoustic guitar here, and we're going to lay down a quick riff into Ableton and then process it and then drop a disrespectful beat in underneath it to finish it up. And before we begin, I always like to set up the keyboard shortcut to the letter R. Let's go ahead and record both the patch cord plugging straight into the Apollo and the mic, which goes straight into the Apollo after its preamp and compressor. And we're gonna create a nice wide acoustic guitar recording by capturing both. Let's drop in a smooth acoustic guitar riff to start our beat. And let's take both of our audio recordings and quantize them. So I'm just gonna hit Command A and Command U. Back to this one, Command U. And let's take one of these and pan them in each ear. And we'll make a group out of this pair and call this Plux One. Let's try record another layer of guitars. So I'm just gonna duplicate this. Let's give it a new color too, just so we could tell these apart easier. So I'm going to lay down a little counter melody to these. So again, I'm going to take the direct guitar from the electric acoustic and the mic, combine them, and let's record in our little counter melody. And again, just a quick command U on each one of these should be all it takes to clean these up. Let's just call this Plux 2. Man, I zoned out for a second. That was so nice to listen to. All right, let's 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 just grab the mic and let's record in some snaps real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I kind of like how I was talking during it. I just want to cut the bass out so it's not distracting. I don't want it to sound like an actual voice. I want it to just sound like that was a part of a sample. <laughs> That's more like it. To sauce these snaps up, I'm actually gonna hit them with the brand new guitar sauce because the spring reverb in here, I already know. Let's put this here, probably turn the highs down a little bit. There we go. I love to dial in the vibe with the volume up and then bring it back to taste. The snaps with just the real subtle effect on there help keep it feeling acoustic. Let's move on and add some percussions to this. As my percussive instrument, I think I'm just gonna tap on the guitar because it sounds like a really cool bongo and depending on how you tap on it, it sounds like a couple different bongos. So I'm just gonna... I like that, something different every time. Put that back down. All right, so this is our, we'll call it a bongo, even though it's not. Just playing the guitar like a bongo. Sometimes you gotta make do with what you got. I think I liked the fill here better. I'm gonna use this one as the end one. I did them out of order, but 
easy to fix. Boom. Make a new clip out of this. I'm gonna hit Command J, turn that into a new piece. And let's just quantize all this at once. And I'm also gonna take the transients and shorten it. Let's go ahead and just add a little bit more vibe to these acoustic guitars. So I'm going to make a group out of these two groups and call this acoustic and an instant vibe. I like to choose halftime. You just can't beat it. Hey. Now I think I'm just gonna make a nice long intro out of this and do some automation that leads up to when the drums come in. So I'm just gonna slide this around and then hit the letter A. And let's highlight all this and right click and we're gonna draw in a slope up. A. So now let's duplicate all this over. And that's where our drums are gonna come in, but before we do that, I wanna add just a little bit more vibe to this acoustic guitar. And let's see what it sounds like like this. You gotta be pretty careful processing acoustic guitars because you can very easily accidentally make them sound like electric guitars and throw off your whole vibe. So I don't wanna go too crazy with this plugin. Let's see if stereo helps. Ooh, that helped a lot. I'm also going to go into these groups and let's do a little bit more panning on the whole group. So I'm just going to do 15 right on that acoustic guitar loop. Let's do 15 left on this. There we go. Are your 808s too respectful? Do your beats lack that organic thump? Maybe you should try Urban Beats 4, our freshest harvest of kicks, snares, percussions, and 808s. So disrespectful, you might get mad you didn't try them sooner. Urban Beats 4 is available now only at holoops.com. Now it's time to add some disrespect to this beat with Urban Beats 4. So let's go ahead and pick out a snare. I like this one. A. This first kick is thumping. I'm gonna take this one. Let's go to hats here and here. And I'm gonna create my little auto panning effect. I'm gonna take this one and let's just do this to it. And now it's time to lay down some drums. So I'm just gonna duplicate this, and we're, that's just how we're gonna split these up real quick. So now we have our kicks and snares separated out. So let's plus these beats with a little bit of hi-hat action. Nice quick loop is all it's gonna take. Now it's time to add a disrespectful 808 to this beat. Oh, I'm gonna take that one since it's already in C. Let's drop some disrespectful 808s into this beat. So 
So we're going to use the one that has the paired up hits as our chorus section. And I'm also going to pitch these up an octave. But maybe not the Bs. Let's take the Bs and send them down. So this will be our verse 808, and this will be our hook 808. I also want to help the hook grow by taking the kick out leading up to it. So let's actually have the first 808 be the first thing that you hear. Excuse me. Ooh, and we should also add a little bit of uh, a limiter to this. So let's hit this with Waves Master Sauce. Let's just push the input up a little bit. I want these bongos to knock a little bit harder, so I'm just going to hit them with the saturator. I think auto filter is needed on here too. There we go. I'm going to make one more hi-hat layer for the hook. Go back to hats and see if we can find one that sounds really different from, from the last one. That one's good. So I'm just gonna do my little auto panner on this one too. And let's drop some eighth notes in on this. This is gonna be right here and this is gonna be hi-hat two. And then let's have it come back to just this. When my main snare comes in, I want the acoustic snap to stop. I think the acoustic snap is just going to be a nice way to carry the beat over when the real drums stop. And the last thing I want to do to sauce these hats up a bit more is to throw the infamous later preset on there. I think that's going to help them just kind of clear out of the way of the rest of the transients because I felt as though they were competing a little bit. There we go. Hey. Command Shift D to duplicate that little section, A little shortcut. Command Shift Delete. Well, there you have it. That is my shortcut guide to making acoustic guitar beats in Ableton. I hope you found all the tips, tricks, presets, and shortcuts in this tutorial useful, and I'll catch you guys next time in another saucy and disrespectful tutorial. Peace out.